Elmer McCurdy's life was a string of botched robberies that ultimately led to his untimely demise at the age of 31 years old. He and his associates had planned to rob a Katy train carrying thousands, but ended up robbing a passenger train instead and making off with a measly $46. This mistake would prove fatal for McCurdy. Elmer McCurdy was killed by the police. His body was reportedly initially taken to a funeral home, but was later claimed by a group of men who claimed to be his brothers. These men were actually part of a traveling carnival, and they decided to embalm and mummify McCurdy's body in order to use it as an attraction in their sideshow. After his death, his body was sold to a carnival owner who mummified him and included him in that sideshow, showcasing him as the outlaw who would never be captured alive. Later, he was used as an example of a dope fiend. The macabre practice of using mummified bodies in sideshows was very popular in the 1920s and 30s, but today it seems like something out of a horror movie. The mummified body of McCurdy was left to rot in a warehouse until 1968, when it was sold to the Hollywood Wax Museum along with other wax figures. Over time, people forgot that McCurdy's body was a real corpse, and they assumed it was just another wax prop. The body was later sold to an amusement park in California, where it became part of a funhouse exhibit. In a bizarre turn of events, McCurdy's body was discovered in 1976 by the production crew of The Six Million Dollar Man while filming at the amusement park. One of the crew members accidentally broke off McCurdy's arm, which was now covered in wax and paint. It was a shocking reminder that what they had assumed was just a prop was once a living, breathing human being. Finally, in 1977, McCurdy was returned to Guthrie, Oklahoma. He was buried... 66 years after his death, his life had been one of desperation, criminality, and exploitation, and his body had been used as a sideshow attraction for far too long. McCurdy's story is a reminder that even in death, our bodies can become commodities and objects of exploitation. These are interesting things with J.C.